So today, I'm going to be talking about some common dog training myths. Myth number one, old dogs cannot learn new tricks. I've heard this a few times and the truth of it is, of course they can. In fact, training your older dogs is a really great way to be able to exercise their mind when their body just can't keep up anymore. If you have an older dog who's never learned how to learn, then it will take them a bit longer than a young dog who you've been training from eight weeks old. Think of it like this, if you had never learned about maths, you never learned about multiplication, and then suddenly someone walks up to you and says, okay, what's three times three? The fact that you can't answer doesn't mean you can't learn, it just means you don't quite understand the concept yet. The other part of truth I could find in this myth is that as a dog gets older, they will slow down, just the same as people. You can't expect a 14 year old dog to be as quick as a 2 year old dog. But that's it, older dogs can definitely learn new tricks. Myth number 2. You should never use food to train a dog, because food is bribery. Food for a dog is payment. You're paying them for the actions that they do in a way that they understand, in a way that they love. Food can be used as bribery, but it's only if you're using it incorrectly. So say you're at the dog park and little Miffy is over there and he's playing with their friends and you pull out your piece of chicken and you go, look at the chicken I've got. Can you see the chicken? Miffy, come. Your dog is then going, hmm. I see you have chicken, but my favorite Labrador friend is here, and I love playing with him. Which one do I like more, chicken or my Labrador friend? And you have a dog that is weighing up their options and deciding whether or not your food is good enough to leave what they're doing. No matter how delicious your chicken is, there's always going to be something that your dog might consider better. That is using food as bribery. The correct version of that scenario would be little Miffy is off doing her thing and, you know, playing with her friends and you say, Miffy, come! And then Miffy goes, wow, that word, I love that word! And they come racing back because you spent all that time conditioning it so they can't even help that response. You say, yeah, good dog! And then you give them a piece of food, which is basically, hey, Awesome job, here's 10 bucks. People who think that food shouldn't be used in dog training or food is bribery, they don't understand how a reward works for a dog. Because it's not true. If it was true, none of my dogs would ever pay attention to me. Myth number three. Telling a dog off for an action they did minutes or even hours ago is effective because they know what they did wrong. No. Dogs have a very short association time, and I mean very short. I think that scientifically it's about 10 seconds, but I wouldn't give my dog 10 seconds. Their attention span is like that. The shorter the time, the better. If you want your dog to associate an action with either a reward or a correction, then you need to catch them within like one second of doing it. Maybe one to three. You can't come home two hours later to your dog having peed on the carpet or chewed up a book and say, you naughty dog, I'm going to tell you off. They will associate their most recent action with you being angry. Say you're out with your dog and they're off sniffing and doing their own thing. You say, come, and they ignore you, and you say, come. Come here. Hey, come here. And then eventually, after you yelling at them for 30 seconds, they turn around and go, oh, okay. And they come. When they get to you, if you then go, you bad dog, you didn't come when I told you, you're a very bad dog for not coming. Your dog is going to be thinking, what the hell? I just came back and now you're yelling at me for coming back? I am never coming to you again. Screw this, I'm gonna go sniff things. Have fun catching me. They will associate their most recent action with your response. One thing I hear people say a lot is, I know that they knew they were wrong because they look guilty. Dogs are masters of body language. If you come inside, you see some teared up newspaper on the floor and you start to get mad, of course they're gonna react to that. It's not that they're guilty, it's that they know you're pissed and they're probably a bit scared or they're unsure about it. If you want to tell a dog that he's done something right or done something wrong, you need to tell them within a few seconds of them doing it for it to be effective. Myth number four. You can't start training a dog until they turn six months old. What? No! A puppy starts learning from the second it's born. The best breeders start working with their puppies from a really young age. They get them used to different sounds, they get them used to different textures on the floor and different surfaces. Saying dogs can't learn till they're six months old is like saying there's no point in interacting with babies until they're at least two. 
Start training your dog from the second you pick them up. Where do people get this stuff from? Myth number five, I can just ignore bad behavior in my puppy because he'll grow out of it when he gets older. No, they won't. They really, really won't. Instead of growing out of it, they're going to have had months and months of practice. Take a behavior like puppies mouthing, for example. This is something that a lot of people seem to assume that a dog will grow out of. What you have to think is, is this behavior rewarding? Is this behavior useful to the dog? Does it get them something? Does it get them something they want? If the answer to any of these is yes, then your dog isn't going to stop doing it. Don't assume that they're going to grow out of a behavior because you really need to put the work in to make that happen. And there we have it. That is five dog training myths that have been officially debunked. Let me know if you guys have any more dog training myths that you'd like me to address. Leave a question or comment down below and I'll do my best to respond and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye!